So today we're doing the lowest rated fantasy draft rebuild. So like I said, we're going to do a fantasy draft, but we're going to take the lowest rated player every single round. And then it's going to be a challenge because not only are we going to have the lowest rated team possible, but we're also going to have players that have absolutely no trade value. There may be a B potential, maybe even an A potential player if we're lucky, but they're going to be so low rated that they're going to have literally no value in a trade so hopefully we can get lucky with some free agency players or maybe even a glitchy trade but for the most part this is going to be a really tough rebuild so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always in the comment section let me know future videos you would like to see if you missed yesterday's video it's on screen now it was the silver slugger award winner rebuild we did the al versus the nl to see who would come up on top go check it out it'll be in the top right hand corner go and click it go watch it and then come back and watch this video so today lowest rated fantasy draft rebuild it's gonna be tough let's see how it plays out i have no idea how this is gonna go all right so as normal settings are just left alone so we're gonna have budgets on trades force trades are off and then we're gonna do a three-year rebuild to see how this plays out but first i need to make sure i turn on fantasy draft and then we should be good there so we have what the last pick i mean i guess it doesn't matter because we actually do have the last pick it doesn't matter because we're going to take the lowest rated player Jasker amaya so along the way we'll probably make sure that we don't take too many of the same position um because i think there's a lot of relief pitchers that are low rated so just to make sure that we don't take a lot of the same uh position we're just gonna we're gonna switch it up so if i see like we have like 47 first baseman but i notice that we still need like a second baseman or a third baseman along the way then i'll take the lowest rated like second baseman or third baseman that way we're not stuck with all these different third baseman or all these different first baseman or all these different relief pitchers so what i'm thinking for today is probably we'll do like the first 10 rounds of the lowest rated player just so you guys can see who's who's making the the team you know we got david Hol holmberg i like it and then we'll just probably sim the rest um just because i don't want you guys to sit here while i pick every round of the lowest rated player but we'll have to wait and see how this plays out kelvin Marte join the squad i mean we're gonna be so bad it's it's not gonna be fun pedro arajo and it sucks because we're missing out on players that could really help us out and i was kind of hoping maybe we'd get like a sneaky good pick but we're not going to most of these players are going to be 48 50 overalls so it's going to be it's going to be pretty tough i accidentally almost drafted brandon morrow which would have ruined this all so i think there's a total of 90 rounds so that's why i wanted to show you guys maybe the first 10 because i didn't want you guys to sit here with me for the next i don't know 27 minutes it's gonna feel like while i go through every single round and pick um the lowest rated player so that's 10 rounds guys i will kind of just give you a quick peek at what our team looks like and then uh i'll see you guys at the end of this draft so last pick we're gonna take one of these 49s who am i feeling do we do we have a starting pitcher we do relief pitchers we got a couple too so i guess it doesn't really matter we're gonna go we're going to go Roberto Gomez, 49 rated. There we go. I'll see you guys at the end of the draft. 2,000 years later. All righty. We're finished. Finishing up the last round now. Yes, I went through 90 rounds and picked the lowest rated player every single time. Yes, that's the dedication for you guys. So let's hop into the regular season. Let's take a look at our team. I have a feeling it's pretty bad. Highest rated player is 54 overall. That's what I'm talking about. Let's uh let's sort by potential. We we do have a couple B potential players, but again, they're not gonna have much value. So let's let's uh we don't have too many starting pitchers. We're gonna have to rely on the bullpen quite a bit because we have a crazy amount of bullpen arms couple closing pitchers some catchers not too many but we got a couple in the system uh we got a bunch of first basemen i know that i knew we had a crazy amount of first basemen and i knew i said i was gonna try to avoid overloading one position but i just made sure that we at least had one or two uh for like the major leagues so at least we have enough to like fill the squad 
but you guys can kind of tell the team is bad and i'm assuming if we take a look at the standings we're going to be 30th ranked in everything oh we actually have a little bit of speed so we're not the, the we're not the worst team in terms of speed which is good and we'll take a look at our starting rotation and bullpen we have quite a quite a bit of pitchers why do we have so many pitchers um but yeah this is the team i don't really think the names are important you guys can see the names on screen i doubt any of these guys are going to stay any longer than one year but yeah this is the team uh we're going to try to finagle some trades but i don't know how we're going to do it probably just offload all the b potential players in like a three team or a three person trade so i'm just going to take like i don't know the lion richardson what else we got that has some b potential uh, those pitchers aren't going to have any value whatsoever. Uh, one first baseman, Ryan Nada, Noda, and then Adrian Sanchez. We're going to do a bulk trade. We're going to find what MLB players are available. And looking at what's available, not much. Uh, ooh, Cameron Mabin. Oh, that's a, that's a good trade. Not really, but... Um, wow. Yeah, our, our options are quite limited. How is Mike Montgomery? I mean, I know he's not like, hey, he's the best. But, you know, for like a season or two, just to kind of get us started, that may not be a terrible trade. Let's do it. That's getting us started, right? It's getting us started. I'm assuming our budget situation is pretty good. Yeah. All right. So that's one trade. That's kind of how we're going to have to improve the team. Kind of get okay players. So I'll see you guys in a bit once we start making some more trades. All right, not too sure how this one's working. Geraldo Perdomo, Wander Javier, and Josh Spores, Bores, Sores, I, whatever. Past that, we're going to be training for Adam Warren and Noe Ramirez. Two okay-ish relievers. Um, again, I'm just trying to get something in return, some okay bullpen help because the first season's free agency is kind of iffy with bullpen help. They're either really good or just meh. So I might as well just go out and try to get something now and see if we can uh, help this team out. So I think I still have a couple B potential players to move. Um, I think maybe just like one or two yeah just we probably have like two more trades so uh yeah let's do it all right we're going for drew storin another reliever again just getting something in return his contract kind of sucks that's actually 1.7 mil that's not too bad so one more trade after this let's see what we can find we're gonna take oliver drake and then actually notice we have one more trade these aren't the most exciting but we got to do something actually i lied nobody wants those players so we should probably clean up the, the pitching rotation. I'll be back in a sec. All right, so after those trades, this is what we're kind of looking like. Like I mentioned, starting rotation is probably trash. It, it is trash. I don't need to say probably. It is. And then we got Mike Montgomery, who's going to be a long reliever. Hopefully does okay, at least. And then, you know, the bullpen maybe can hold its own. I'm kind of hoping this is this is lost this is this there's nothing good about this um i looked at free agency you're probably thinking look at free agency there's gonna be some good players there most of them are aging players that are going to drop in value and just like trade value and they're not gonna really hold their rating so i felt like there's really no point in bringing them into the team anyways because i'm looking at it there's nobody there that's gonna be good for a season or two um so we're just gonna pretend like no one's in free agency so yeah let's hope uh this off season proof like proves to be really helpful so i'm gonna simulate see how season one plays out and see you guys at the end of it all right so you guys can really tell we're we're bad uh so yeah that's that's how the season's gonna end uh 28 and 134 Whew. yeah that's uh bad no league leaders or awards i'm shocked i'm pfft. I'm super shocked. We went up in speed rating though. So uh, that's that's a good thing. Everything else is pretty bad. So just taking a look at what we're working with. Yikes. It's uh, it's not looking too good, unfortunately. Um, let's take a look at the bullpen. Hopefully that was a helpful area. Mike Montgomery. Okay. 
that's that's something I could work with. All right, that's that's not too bad. Uh, that's not great. Neither is that or that. That's good though. Okay, we 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 can you know maneuver our way through some things. So what I'm gonna do is I just want to take a look at who's gonna win the World Series. The Marlins. Why do I feel like every time we do like some sort of fantasy draft, the Marlins is the team that wins? So let's just go take a look at their their lineup. So Lorenzo Cain, okay, Jeff McNeil, Eugenio, Starling Castro. It's not a bad team, but like I'm not I'm not like wow, that's that's amazing. Let's take a look at their pitching, because maybe they're pitching stacked and that's why they're really good. Yeah, their pitching is yeah, holy cow. DeGrom, Severino, Carrasco, Mike Leak had himself a postseason um and then when you look at the rest it's again it's it's not like an amazing team but it's uh it's decent so let's take a look at the twins really quick just to kind of get an idea of what we need to get ready for uh okay polanco's good mccutcheon harper donaldson rosario scope that's a pretty decent team and we'll take a look at their uh the rotation really fast and then uh we'll head into the off season because i know you guys are dying to see who i'm gonna sign um that's okay it's not amazing but let's uh let's get into it i'm i'm pretty interested to see how things are gonna be so retired players we had a couple but you know players that i really wasn't expecting to bring back anyways because they're not amazing adam warren you were pretty bad and rather than pay you what do you want I'm going to hold off, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to hold off. We still have Joe Madden for some reason. He didn't want to leave the Cubs. He was like, this team was really bad. We got to turn it around. So, you know what? We're going to, we're going to give him another year. So 40 man, I doubt anybody wants any of our players. Oh, maybe not Drake or Ramirez, but I do want to bring back um, Mike Montgomery for sure. Maybe, maybe drop the salary a little bit, but you're, you don't need that much money. Uh, we're gonna bring back everybody just so that we have people on the roster. Um, you know, just so we have enough. So this is my thinking with free agency. The the spending a lot, like the whole, okay, so I got two options here. Let's backtrack a little bit, two options. I either sign a bunch of mediocre players and then hope we can build from that, or we sign like a really, really good player such as Garrett Cole, Madison Bumgarner. Wow, this free agency is pretty bad now that I'm looking at it. So either we sign like Garrett Cole and then we trade him for a bunch of other players or we just sign some like okay glitchy players and hope it works out for us. This free agency, pretty bad. All right, season two, we made some big changes. And when I say big, I just mean we made a lot of changes. So let's take a look at the team, see how things are looking now so pitching rotation Sonny Gray was a player I saw and I was like you know what he's not a bad free agent you know why not pick him up two-year deal I mean it's not a horrible one Daniel Salamette another one is he great no maybe as a trade piece maybe a little bit better Hunter Harvey was available as a rule five draft pick so I was like you know what he's got really good trade value let's pick him let's trade him for maybe two relievers or like a couple players that will be all right and have some trade value and then i wasn't able to figure out the rest of the team so i still have mike montgomery we still have drew Sor storin um i let the other guys walk we have sabatka and then our team's looking pretty bare um below us so we're gonna have to figure that out as well so the cpu went a little ham on rule five draft picks so we'll talk about that in a sec travis jankowski was available in free agency i thought as like a platoon player maybe even as our starting right fielder not a terrible pickup um usually does pretty well okay contact stats and stuff good vision maybe he'll do well jose iglesias i, I thought was a really good shortstop to have good vision good contact i figured you know what for a two-year deal not terrible joe panic rule five pick i saw him i was like i need to get him um the three players i saw that i wanted were hunter harvey joe panic and michael franco the cpu picked the rest so as you can see we have a lot um ian happ was available in free agency when i saw that i was like he may not always do great but maybe as a trade piece get a couple players for him that might help us out maybe a starting pitcher who has some value that could be the right move or even just keep him and let him develop for a season or two michael franco i saw him i was like he hits really well we got to pick him up for franchise lowen diaz was picked up from the cpu but i'm not disappointed by it 
he doesn't look too bad. Um, Evan Gaddis, I decided to pick him up in free agency. He's getting a big morale boost. Holy cow. I thought we need a catcher. Might as well pick him up. He was in free agency as well. Arcia, I'm picking him, picking him up as a trade piece. Um, yeah, 250. How did Iglesias do? 229, but only played in 50 games. Huh. We'll see. We'll see. And then Clint Frazier was picked up by the CPU. He's definitely getting traded for sure. And then Greg Allen was a Rule 5 draft pick by the CPU. Alfredo Gonzalez was another Rule 5 draft pick from the CPU. I mean, we'll probably just trade up Gonzalez and then see what happens. But we're going to make a lot of trades um, this season because we have players that have some value. Might as well trade them, see what we can get for them. All right. So what I'm thinking is Kirby Yates, AJ Minter, Nikki Delmonico for Arcia Montano or Montano, Mont whatever, and Lug Bauer. So I saw the, the, the original trade was Arcia for Yates and Minter. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe add an extra bat. Let's get Delmonico. And then I had to do the suggest trade to make it happen. So I like this trade. It works out. We get some bullpen help. Let's do it. All right, next trade, Cattell Marte and Domingo Herman for Hunter Harvey and Clint Frazier and then Marcos Brito. I like this trade. All right, so after a couple free agent signings and obviously those trades, this is what we're working with. It's a lot better than what we started with considering everybody was 50, what, four or below. I like the team. Um, I said I was gonna trade Hap, but I'm gonna give him a shot. Michael Franco, I like Lowe and Diaz, and I like the team. It actually looks pretty solid. Um, I think this is the team we're gonna go with going forward. And then obviously if we need to make any trades or signings come next year, we should be good. Our budget is still looking pretty healthy as well. And then I went out and signed uh, Felix Hernandez and Michael Pineda for a season. And then with these three is kind of maybe our, he's probably gonna be like our one or two starter. Sonny Gray, maybe our four or five. Same with Denilson Lamette, depending on who he does. We might even trade him. And then we got Montgomery, Savoca, Storin, uh, or Sabatka, it's Sabatka. Uh, Cisnero, I just signed. We just traded for Minter and Yates. I like the team. It is a huge improvement. I want to see where we're we're uh, standing now. We're still last, which I mean makes a little sense, you know, our farm system and stuff. I don't think it takes in farm system, but um, it's it's an improvement. It's an improvement for sure. Our bench is pretty trash, but uh, I'm liking I'm liking what uh what we're rocking with. Um, we're we're making improvements. I like it. Let's see how season two plays out. All right, you can kind of see the the records right here somewhere on screen. You guys can see it. 81 and 81. I mean, that's a huge improvement. Like, who would have thought you add some like actual major leaguers to the squad and you, you, you improve? No league leaders, no awards, but we missed out on the division by 11 games, which, uh, okay, that's not terrible. Missed out on the wild card by six. I'll take that. That is a huge step in the right direction. So let's just take a look, see how things went. Domingo Herman, I'm glad we picked them up. Holy cow. Um, let's check because uh, who was there was another pitcher I was looking at trading for. And it was, once I find him, I'll show you guys who it was. Because it was Herman Marquez. Pretty similar um, to what Domingo Herman did. Actually, no, Herman was the better pick for sure. Sonny Gray, unfortunately not as good. Lamette, not too great. And it really was like, okay, Michael Pineda, I see you. But Herman really carried the team, and we may need to look for other like pitching options. Maybe these guys be our four or five, and then we just get someone a lot better in free agency. Like this is upcoming is our last season, so we definitely need to make some some acquisitions to push us into the playoffs. Mike Montgomery, not as good as last year. Savaka, really good. We're gonna keep him around. Storin's been good for us. Cisnero wasn't terrible. Um, I don't know why I looked at free agency thinking or uh triple A thinking we had someone there. We didn't. Minter, not great. And Kirby Yates, not great either. Hmm. Maybe we need to look in other avenues for a closer and setup, man. So Godoy was solid, average, perfect. I like it. Uh, Galvis, not great. We only did a one-year deal for him, so we'll probably just let him go. Greg Allen, not great. Probably going to trade him. So 
Let's check the actual lineup, see who we're going to trade, who we're going to keep, how we can improve this team. And uh, Marte, I like it. 24 home runs, kind of as our leadoff guy for the most part. 40 doubles, love it. Jose Iglesias, when you give him full time, he actually does well. So I'll take that for sure. Joe Panic's looking like he could be a good second baseman for us. Ian Happ has gone up quite a bit in rating. And that's because I actually moved him to a left fielder because we didn't have any left fielders in the team. So I figured let's just actually move him over there. It should help him out. Good run production from him. Michael Franco, 31 home runs. Love to see it. Lewin Diaz, okay. He's 75 overall. I expect him to go. Okay, he's got a boost. Morale boost. But you know what? I'm going to give him another shot at first base rather than spend big money for a first baseman. Let's just give him a shot. Evan Gaddis, not great. Run production's good, though, so I'll take it. Nikki Delmonico wasn't amazing. And then Travis Jankowski, pretty good. So we've got pieces we can work with. And uh, heading into the offseason, I'm liking, I'm liking what we have. So the Dodgers defeat the Yankees. Okay, it looks like nothing has changed uh, in, our, in our team or in our franchise at all. Everyone's just... The same it's back to normal so what we'll do kirby yates oh man i'm gonna let him go call me crazy i'm gonna let him go i'm gonna let the other guys go as well yeah i'm gonna let the i'm gonna let the rest go because i i want to really i want to go crazy in free agency we have the money to do it let's do it so 40 man no one important arbitration we def <sighs> minter minter's been poor too but i'm gonna offer these three arbitration mike mike montgomery is gonna go we're gonna offer everybody a contract as well um just bring them back have the depth and then this is where we're gonna we're gonna go hard uh mookie bets probably not i do want to sign a top pitcher how is dallas keichel not great i know not necessarily a top pitcher what about james paxton that might be the target. James Paxton might be the target. And then we definitely need a closer now. Uh, Hendricks isn't bad. Hendricks is not bad at all. That might be the move. How is Andrew Miller? Pretty bad. So I think Hendricks is going to be our target for closer. Um, Sean Doolittle. Ooh, Sean Doolittle might be the guy too. So maybe Hendricks, Doolittle, and then like James Paxton. And I think the lineup is there. Maybe just bring in like a George Springer. Nah, maybe not. I don't know. We we have the options. We have some money to play with. I'll show you what we're working with money-wise. 2.8 is plenty of money to sign some big names. I think we're set. I think we can make some big splashes in free agency. And I think we're making the playoffs for sure. All right, season three time. Final season for this lowest rated fantasy draft. And I think... This team is really good. I do have one trade to make before I show you the roster though. So let's make that trade first and I'll show you what this team's looking like. All right, Jared Potch, Sam Delaplane, and then Denilson Lamette for Ryan Barucki. 84 rated starting pitcher, had pretty good seasons the last two year. I have faith in him, let's trade for him. And now let's look at this team. So now our pitching rotation looks good. We got James Paxton, Domingo Herman. We got Ryan Barucki, Mike Miner is a new addition as well. And then we have Sonny Gray, who's going to be our fifth starter. I have faith in him being there. We brought back, but I, <laughs> woo! We brought back Michael Pineda. Uh, he did really well as a like a just a what was it, our third or fourth starter last year as a long reliever. Let's test him out. We got Sabatka, Storin, Cisneros. AJ Minter's moving into like kind of that middle relief role. We brought in Brad Brock, who's had pretty decent years or just one year. He had one good year. Previous year, not so much. Hmm. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's last year, not two years ago. And then we brought in Liam Hendricks. I tried to go for Sean Doolittle. He ended up going to the Dodgers. So yeah, Dodgers, they're hurting me. So on the bench, uh, two rule five picks uh by the cpu don't really understand them but you know what i'll take it rowdy tellis has got a little bit of pop off the bat ronaldo hernandez we had a we had another catcher alfredo gonzalez i don't know why we picked another one but it's okay we brought in miguel rojas to kind of be like a platoon shortstop second baseman and now look at the squad carlos santana i made him a catcher we needed one that actually had like a good bat because we let Gavin gaddis go but look at the team i'm liking it Cattell Marte, Joe Panic, Ian Happ, Carlos Santana, Michael Franco, Jankowski, Iglesias, Lewin Diaz, and Nicky Delmonico. I'm looking at it a little bit more and I feel like we could make a trade and it could be helpful. It's just like, 
where maybe an outfielder yeah i'm thinking maybe an outfielder because like i like like jankowski is cool and all but like is he gonna help us out win is he gonna help us win games we have delmonico too huh huh you know what do we, we don't really have too much depth and i feel like we'd have to do like a, a two or a three player trade and when you look at our farm system we don't really have anything let's take a look at free agency see what's available is there anybody who's like hey that guy could like be a, a bench bat for us and then we can make like a, a combination trade where like we, we package two or three players together to get something um i guess we could bring in ronald torres Julie Guriel. I mean, I don't know. Is that the move? Is that the move? So let's let's take a look again. We we kind of do need an outfielder. Let's make a trade for an outfielder. Alrighty, Kelvin Marte, Ronaldo Hernandez, and Jankowski are being traded for Christian Yelich. Yeah, Christian Yelich. There we go. There's our outfielder. All right, we just added a huge bat to the team. Let's sim the season, see how it goes. So we, I'm assuming we barely squeaked into the playoffs. 87 and 75. We're a wild card team, and whew. I mean, we we missed out on the division by two games. We're still 28th ranked, and the wild card, I guess, two games. So yeah, we kind of did squeak in there. League leaders, James Paxton with WAR um no awards but we'll take a look at the awards for the last three seasons hoskins machado and trout were mvp and then for the american league it was harper castellanos and charlie blackman uh cy young kershaw porcello really rick porcello and max scherzer and then you have blake snell robbie ray and then jacob de gram okay uh let's take a look reliever of the year will harris hater and trinan you got kenley jansen last two seasons and then richard blyer and then rookie of the year, not too worried about. So there's your rookie, or not rookie, there's your award winners. And uh, I wanna show you guys, we went on a really bad streak at one point. Yeah, right after the All-Star game, just huge loss streak right there. And just, it just was, it was a little rough at times. I was like, yikes, what is, what is going on with this team? I think even when we started the season, we went on a, a little bit of a, a loss streak, but it just, something wasn't clicking and i'm kind of interested to see where it happened so james paxton phenomenal season not too sure how he didn't win cy young great year erman great year baraki great year minor amazing sunny grade yeah you know not so much but then let's take a look at our bullpen yeah that whew, that that's rough that's rough wow okay so that's that's why we did poorly the bullpen um bench was pretty terrible too and then looking at the team joe panic wasn't as good christian yelich was great carlos santana did well michael franco was okay ian happ was okay so yeah it just kind of looked like we just didn't perform as well as the previous season which is disappointing so i'm kind of intrigued to see what the dodgers are looking like because they're stacked apparently um freeman jose martinez i actually looked at getting jose martinez um that's a good team i want to check their pitching too because clearly they're stacked with pitching as well let's take a look let's take a look yeah they're they're pretty good it's pretty good pretty good um yeah i can see why they're doing pretty well so we're the wild card team it all comes down to this james paxton chris sale okay and uh Coors, Coors Stadium, Coors Field, Coors Stadium. What's wrong with me? All right, let's do this. Whew. Let's see how things go. Christian Yelich gets us off right. There we go. That's what I like to see. I mean, they have Trevor Story. Domingo Santana was actually a player I looked at trading for. Kevin Biggio's on their squad as well. Um, let's see. Use uh, Yandy Diaz. I almost said use Nail Diaz. Uh, Brandon Belt, Danny Jansen, and then Chris Sale. So 2-2 two -two game. James Paxton's kind of falling apart here. Five to two now. And uh, Ian Happ, come on. Ian Happ, Grand Slam gets us a, oh man, gives us the lead. Whew. There we go. Six to five ball game. James Paxton's done after four. No more James Paxton today. Um, we're just we're just not going to take the chances. We're going to bring in Pineda. 
<sighs> Pineda's day is done. Let's bring in Sabatka. And then just get back into the game, I hope. I mean, James Paxson was tired. It's just things weren't looking good. So I had to take him out. Sabatka's doing okay. Hopefully gets us out of this. He does. It's still a two-run game. We got two innings left. Can we get back into it? All right, pinch hit. Who do we bring in? Delmonico? Flies out. All right. This is going to be tough. Um, Minter. And then not versus Trevor Story for sure. We're going to pitching change. We're going to go to Storin, I guess. He's been reliable for us. So that's good. Last inning. Can we get that two run back? All right. There we go. There's a good start. Um, do we have someone who can pinch run and then play first? We do. We're going to bring in Greg Allen for sure. Can he steal second? Do we take that at chance? No, we don't. First and second, no outs. Yes. Flies out. That's not good. Christian Yelich walks the bases loaded. There we go. Carlos Santana. Tie ball game. That's what I'm talking about. Here we... What? Oh, you kidding me? Really? Are you serious? I think I messed up too. I think I let Drew Storen hit in the last inning. <sighs> I need to I need to check the game now. Cuz I think I let Drew Storen hit. No, he didn't hit. Okay. <sighs> Man, that's tough. That one's a tough one. All right, well, that's the walk-off. It's it's a rough one. It happens, but hey, to think we took a team that was like 51 rated, like that that's what they were like, the average was, to take it to a playoff team in just three years. I mean, that's pretty good. Three years to do that, that was pretty solid, especially since this first season, we still only had like a team that was like 52 rated. I mean, our highest player was like 74. And I think that, yeah, it, it, was, it was tough. It was tough. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's rebuild. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as always, leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Man, this was a tough one. And I mean, it was pretty good. It was a lot of fun to record. On screen now, guys, there are going to be two videos. One is the last and most recent upload. And then the second video is going to be one that YouTube recommends you check out. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.